All right, folks, there is a uh, saying that we're all familiar with. That is, hit dog will holler. Well, whenever you hear people start whining, complaining about something someone else says, uh, typically that means that hit dog will holler. Two hit dogs hollered on Fox News, Kaylee McEnany and Harris Faulkner. Uh, they were discussing a segment that I did with Tiffany Cross on MSNBC, and they decided to share some thoughts. Uh, here is their segment. To that point, it is dangerous when you take half of a country, Harris, and say, I'm putting you in this box of, as our president said, a threat to democracy, clear and present danger, the language mm. he has used. And then what has been interesting is it's not just him. Um, some lapdogs have followed the president's orders and using the same language. Let's take a listen. Obviously, Republicans, I think, are the biggest threat to democracy. We don't separate right-wing extremists and Republican Party anymore. And these days, it feels like we are not just at the brink of a civil war, but that one has already begun. This is an outright attack on women in this country. That is how I see it. That is how more and more women and those who support our right to make decisions about our own bodies. That is how we see it. You know, this is a um, literally call to arms. We are at war with these people. These folks are evil. They have allowed evil into their house with Donald Trump. He has now dominated the party. This evil is spreading. And when you are in a war footing, you have to respond accordingly. You know, that kind of talk is so irresponsible. Mm -hmm. There are things that are going on. We've had uh, a justice on the Supreme Court with an assassination attempt in this country. We've had things that could tip us off into a situation that we don't want on September 3rd. Uh, Tiffany Cross, an anchor at that network, and then one of her guests, I guess, Roland Martin, I don't even know what he does there, um, talking about how we're on the brink of something. Let's talk about what we can do to take down the level of hate in the conversation. And comparing things to Hitler and to slavery, why can't things live in history where they were? They were terrible enough. Yep. Do they need to be brought back and be diminished so that we can raise something above it? Hillary Clinton saying, well, this person or this situation is like Hitler. What is she talking about that's like Hitler in this country right now? Mm -hmm. Is she so ignorant? that she doesn't know how many people died? Yeah. There's nothing going on in this country right now like Hitler. All right. I'm going to deal with Kaylee first. First, Kaylee says that uh, Biden's lapdogs follow his lead. Let me help you out, Kaylee. I've never worked for President Joe Biden. I've never worked for President Barack Obama. In fact, I ain't never worked for a politician. You, on the other hand, literally was a lapdog for Donald Trump. You literally lied to the American people on a regular basis. You right now are a fake journalist sitting in a host chair on Fox News when you have absolutely no training for the job whatsoever. In fact, your entire network is a lapdog for Donald Trump. The suck up that takes place by Sean Hannity, Laura Ingram, and on and on, and Tucker Carlson, on and on and on, Pete, uh, Peter Hexeth, it's unbelievable. There's a reason your network is getting sued by Dominion because of the lies that y'all pushed when it came to the voting uh, election being rigged. There is no greater evidence of a network being lapdogs for Donald Trump. And you know why you're lapdogs for Donald Trump? Because your ratings went down after the election when you properly called Arizona for Joe Biden. And what did your network do? Your network fired the guy who made the call. There is no greater example, Kaylee, of lapdogs than you and Fox News. In fact, Fox News, your employer is such a lapdog for Donald Trump, y'all actually employed the man's daughter-in-law. How much more of a lapdog can you be when you are employing the daughter-in-law of Donald Trump. 
Now, let me deal with you, Harris. First of all, you called it irresponsible. Then, Harris, you tried to act like you didn't know who the hell I was and what I do. Harris, I got your phone number right here. And you got my phone number. I mean, you do remember when I took you to the Apollo's uh, spring gala. Do you want me to pull the photos up? When I took you down Har to Harlem, where the black folks were? Remember the red dress you wore? Oh, do you want me to pull those receipts? Uh, I, I, I don't even know what he does for the network. It's called some basic ass research, Harris. I don't work for MSNBC. Y'all invite guests on Fox News all the time. So maybe you should do some research and know that I was an invited guest on Tiffany Cross show and I don't work for MSNBC. Typically, Harris, I'm sorry, you know how this works. If someone is a Fox News contributor, you say Fox News contributor. If they're a guest, you just simply say who they are. That's what Tiffany did. So please don't try to sit here and be dismissive and act as if you don't know who I am, Harris. Well, you know exactly who I am, which is why when you when you host co-hosted the NABJ award ceremony in Miami, you and I talk there as well. Yeah. So don't let me bring out the black receipts on you, Harris Faulkner. And don't play this game with your audience. Now, you actually say it. Oh, the comments were irresponsible. I'm going to show you irresponsible, Harris. And, and, and what I think is irresponsible is when you're supposed to be a so-called news anchor. First of all, Tiffany Cross is not a news anchor at MSNBC. She's a show host, not a news anchor. You should know the difference between being a news anchor. Now, you are a so-called news anchor at Fox News, Harris Faulkner. You actually said what's irresponsible. I'm going to tell you what's irresponsible when the New York Attorney General, Letitia James, lays out out by detail how Donald Trump has cheated when it came to his financial records. This is how you responded, Harris Faulkner, on Fox News. All right, ch try it now. Okay, hold on. I'm going to reset it. Let me reset it. Here we go. Check this out, y'all. New York State Attorney General has just announced uh, a rather lengthy and detailed uh, layout of the lawsuit that she is putting against Donald Trump, former president. Some of this is really inside baseball unless it's your tax dollars in New York. And some people may even accuse it of being political because we're 48 days away from the midterm elections. And both presidents, the current and the past, um, are certainly being looked at uh, to help candidates out. So we'll see how this plays out. We're certainly going to cover it, and we'll bring you highlights as they happen. But the big headline in all of this is the lawsuit by the state of New York today just announced by Letitia James. I'm sorry. Uh, Harris, uh, can you please explain to me how in the hell that was inside baseball? I mean, you literally just said inside baseball. Uh, how was it inside baseball? And then you say, well, you know, man, it was your tax dollars. I mean, so you're in New York. It doesn't affect you. That was actually a news story. Harris, that was a perfect example of what it means to be a lapdog when y'all broke away from the news conference and you were unwilling to show the full news conference because uh, you know your boy Donald Trump uh, wasn't going to be happy. But in fact, the real reason, Harris, y'all didn't want to show that full news conference is because your audience did not want to see it. It's the same reason, Harris, that y'all are unwilling to even talk about the January 6th hearings. In fact, Harris, being a so-called news anchor, I would think that you would be calling out your fellow Fox News colleague, Tucker Carlson, who literally right here, this is from Media Matters website, where he was proud of the fact 
that Fox News is hiding the January 6th hearings from its audience. Oh, interesting. Can y'all cue up Harris's comments again, please? Cue up, cue, cue the part of, because I really want to hear what she talked about. Oh my goodness, um, uh, the violence and, and, and how people have been hurt in this country. Please. Let's hear that again, since Harris is so concerned about political violence in this country when she mentioned someone who was arrested for trying to kill a Supreme Court justice. You know, that kind of talk is so irresponsible. Mm -hmm. There are things that are going on. We've had Find uh, me a some justice January, uh, on the Supreme sixth, Court uh, video. with a, an assassination attempt in this country. We've had things that could tip us off into a situation that we don't want on September 3rd. Uh, Tiffany Cross, an anchor at that network, and then one of her guests, I guess, Roland Martin, I don't even know what he does there, um, talking about how we're on the brink of something. Let's talk about what we can do to take down the level of hate in the conversation and oh, comparing things to Hitler. You want to take down the level of hate in this country? Well, hell, Harris, why don't you call out your own network? Your own, your own colleague is proud of the lack of coverage on January 6th. Uh, uh, oh, Harris, shall I remind you of what happened on January 6th? Shall I remind you of the political violence? Shall I remind you of the police officers who were beaten on that particular day? Shall we remind you how Republican and Democratic lawmakers were terrified of the folks who were storming the U.S. Capitol? But your colleagues at Fox News, they have labeled it a walk in the park. They've said it was just a tour. That's how they've labeled it. That's interesting, Harris, uh, because uh, guess what? Go to my iPad. This is today. Harris, Kyle Young, a 38-year-old Trump fan who brought his teenage son along as he assaulted then D.C. police officer Michael Fannin and another officer at the Capitol on January 6th was just sentenced to more than seven years, 86 months in prison. Do you mean that violence, Harris? Your network won't even show the hearings in prime time. Your network, Harris, is the greatest lap dog in America for Donald Trump and the Republican Party. The folks who sign your check, Harris, sucks up to Trump and MAGA. In fact, you employ them, you celebrate them, you tout them, you praise them, you sit next to them on the couch, Harris. And so if you want to actually have a discussion, Harris, you got my cell phone number, because I damn sure got yours, call me. You want some, y'all got a man who sits in that center seat there? Why don't y'all call this man if you want to have a debate, if you want to have a conversation? And then Harris, you have the audacity to say, oh, we, we need to uh, dial down the rhetoric. Hmm. Really? This here is the video page for Media Matters. Here you have Tucker Carlson praising the recently elected fascist in Italy. Yeah. Uh-huh. Right there. You, you, you've got uh, uh, other Fox News hosts on here uh, who do all they can. You, you're going to love this one since, you, since you're concerned about violence, uh, Harris. Here you got Fox anchor Shannon Bream says, it's just not good optics for DOJ to arrest suspect who allegedly assaulted an elderly man outside an abortion clinic. Wow. 
Harris Faulkner is concerned about the violence in America, but one of the so-called news anchors at Fox News says it's not good optics to arrest somebody who assaulted someone. Last I checked, I thought y'all were the Law and Order Network. I thought y'all actually cared about those things. You know, it's interesting when I hear um, Harris say, oh, how uh, we need to dial down the rhetoric and things along those lines. Hmm, that, 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 that's real interesting. Uh, when uh, on your network, Harris, on your network, this is what your dear leader said. On Fox News, Donald Trump says immigrants are poisoning our country. Is that the rhetoric that you want to dial down, Harris? Huh, ain't that something? Jesse Waters calls the homeless an invasive species. Dana Perino says we should involuntarily commit the homeless. Is that the type of language you want to dial down? Oh, oh, here we got one. Jesse Waters calls Union president, a vicious woman. I don't recall you saying a damn thing about any of them. In fact, Harris Faulkner, Will, um, you got Will Kane, who I used to destroy on CNN with his ridiculous ass arguments. This is what he said about Congresswoman Ilhan Omar. She is a real parasite on our political system. Please, Harris, can you show me the transcript where you have criticized them for the language? Oh, it probably doesn't exist, Harris. In fact, since uh, K K uh, Kaylee, uh, since your grossly unqualified self uh, wants to talk about lap dogs, I told y'all you gotta be a lap dog when your network employs Donald Trump's daughter-in-law. This is Donald Trump's daughter-in-law on Fox News, paid by Fox News, talking about A.G. Letitia James, who is going after her husband. Fox contributor Laura Trump, bloodthirsty New York A.G. Letitia James caused children to die by shutting down the illegally self-dealing Trump Foundation. Y'all, the Trump Foundation was self-dealing and she actually trying to pump it up. And then she said, oh, it caused children to die. No, the only thing that died was Donald Trump not being able to use foundation money to pay for portraits of himself. See, folks, what I need y'all to understand is there is no greater lap dog for the entire Republican Party, for the conservative movement, and for Donald Trump, than Fox News. And Harris Faulkner, you are a gross disappointment for the comments that you made. First of all, you couldn't even do basic journalism and fact check what my role is, because uh, uh, does, one doesn't exist at MSNBC. So that's one. Two, you are sitting next to somebody. You really should be mad. You really should be mad to say, how am I sitting next to a grossly unqualified person who prior to becoming press secretary was nothing more than an airhead talking head at uh, CNN? And the only reason she was hired at CNN because she was sitting here touting Donald Trump. You really should say, as a journalist, a so-called journalist with credentials, it's embarrassing that I have to sit next to Kaylee McEnany every single day as a co-host on Outnumbered. Harris and Kaylee, the next time y'all want to talk about someone being a lap dog and someone being irresponsible, I suggest you go to your nearest mirror. I'm done. All right, folks, back to our my unfiltered video in just one moment. When we invest in ourselves, we're investing in what's next for all of us. Growing. Creating making moves that move us all forward. Together, we are Black Beyond Measure. Folks, Black Star Network is here. Hold no punches. A real uh, revolutionary right now. Black 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 Support this man, Black Media. He makes sure that our stories are told. I thank you for
for being the voice of Black America, Rolling. I love y'all. All momentum we have now, we have to keep this going. The video looks phenomenal. See, this difference between Black Star Network and Black-owned media and something like CNN. You can't be Black-owned media and be scared. It's time to be smart. Bring your eyeballs home. You dig?